Yeah, people just lose their life over this, man. Why they do this, man? They do this for a reason. You know, it's about the money, man. And sometimes when you put people on, you wish they you wouldn't have. Yeah, what's up, man? This is David Just Love once again back at you, making you think about some things that we'd be like, wow, wow. Hey, I salute to you once again, man. You know I wiggle his finger, but check this out. Hear Willie D what he's talking about. There's killers. Asked him to put him on in the cocaine industry. Shot Jay's nephew. Possessed contraband cell phones in jail. And discussed with his co-defendant who might be snitching against them and other revelations. The records lay out a large portion of the case against Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Tenard Washington, who are accused of murdering Jam Master Jay in October 2002 over a dispute involving a large cocaine deal. The records allege that the defendants admitted guilt to each other and other uncharged co-conspirators that Jordan was identified by eyewitnesses to Jay's shooting. According to the records, roughly seven months after Jay's death, Jordan shot Jay's nephew in the leg on Hollis Avenue. He was arrested and charged, but the case fell apart after the victim refused to cooperate. A billboard article from the time identified the victim as Rodney Little D. Jones. Prosecutors say the motive was Jones recording a song that accused Jordan of murdering Jay. Additionally, the records allege that Jordan came to Jay with the request that Jay put him on in the cocaine industry and that Jay subsequently provided Jordan with a small quantity of cocaine to determine if Jordan could handle selling larger quantities. The motive for Jay's killing, according to prosecutors, was Jay cutting Washington out of the deal of 10 kilos of cocaine. Jordan, a rapper who used the stage name Young Yachty, was part of a group called Rich Fly G's, and prosecutors have requested to use some of his lyrics as evidence. In one song, for instance, he raps, We aim for the head, no body shots, and we stick around just to see the body drop. This request comes amid a national movement to limit or outright abolish the use of rap lyrics as evidence in criminal cases, including a recent law passed in California that restricts this practice. Washington, meanwhile, is described as a man with a reputation in Queens for possessing firearms, committing armed robberies, and engaging in narcotic trafficking, often as an enforcer or security for traffickers. Prosecutors allege he took Jordan under his wing after serving a 10-year prison sentence for robbery in Maryland. After the two were arrested and charged in 2020 with murdering Jay, they reportedly talked at a jail, sometimes by passing kites, about who might be cooperating with federal authorities. And get this fam, according to the records, in several recorded jail calls, Jordan referenced having contraband cell phones and asking people to text or FaceTime him. Let me tell you something. It is going to be very difficult to expect a jury to see things your way when your voice is on a recording admitting to your part in a crime. That's going to be very difficult to get around. I've heard people say, why would Jam Master J, a story DJ, you know, an iconic DJ, would run DMC, be involved in selling drugs? <sighs> the same reason why a lot of people do it chasing that bag now here go the thing you know trying to get that quick money but here's the thing that that money that hip hop money it ain't what y'all think it is it ain't what you think it is uh, especially if an artist is not touring 
And keep in mind, Jam Master J was DJ. So the way he eat is shows. He got to do shows and Run DMC don't do a lot of shows. See, people think like, that's a lot of money in that. It is, if you good. But if you just a regular person with a DJ, ain't a lot of money. You start losing money, so you trying to find other options to get that money faster and quicker. Your mind not, may not be good at doing other things or creating other things. But one thing you probably go back to is what he was talking about. Went back to that. Because the money was not flowing at all. <sighs> wow. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, things happen. And people think, what? That they're going to get rich. All of everybody don't get rich from doing that. And, and, and watch what he say right here. Babe, if you're still selling dope today, <laughs> it, let me tell you something, fam. It's so many ways to get money in America that you don't have to risk your freedom or your life to get the bag. Now, you're going to have to have some patience. That's the biggest thing that stop a lot of cats. They don't have patience. Uh, excuse me, sir. Did you say patience? Because, yeah, we got to have that. And so they end up compromising their health, their freedom, their manhood. So I ain't going to continue to go deep into it. He said what he said. You heard what he said. And a lot of times, that's what ended up happening. Giving up years because what? Didn't want to be patient. The key thing, be patient. And, hey, if you don't make it there, you just don't make it. But if you're patient, you make moves and learn and continue to learn, you, you eventually get there. But a lot of guys out here, women, take that, that road to that, that other road. That road that thing they're going to get rich and... They might have that five year stunt. I talk about, you might have five, maybe 10. But when it come crashing down, hey, it's over. You gonna put in that 20 year plan. That's something he said down the road, but you put it, if you put in a 20 year plan, you, you, you probably will get it. Just be smart about it. And if you don't, you keep striving until you finally get it or until you pass off this earth. But see, a lot of guys don't want it, it's that, that quick money. That quick money, they <laughs> get them all the time. Yeah, it gets them all the time. And they find themselves jacked up. And now they wonder, oh man, oh man, oh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, well, you know you know what to do and you know where you're going to be. You know where you're going to be. Man, shout out to him for, you know, covering it. You know, you know, he got people on the channel. So you just go over there if you have to. Or you come to my channel, you can push that thing. But look, I'm just saying, man. That, that fast money gets you all the time, man. You might as well take the slow money and just keep grinding and keep going the best way you can. The best way you could actually get to where you want to be without the problems, man. Hey, on that note, I'm David Just Love. Like, subscribe, push that notification button, put a comment below, and guess what? I'm out.